Each health facility should have a simple map of its catchment area. Having a current and accurate map can help you plan the delivery of vaccination services because it shows you all the communities you serve, how many infants and pregnant women are in each community, how far away they are from you, and which mode of transport is required to reach them. You should update your map at least once a year before annual planning. Here is the information you will need the location of every village or community, landmarks and significant buildings, settlements of urban poor and migrants within towns, and settlements of migrants and or displaced persons in rural areas. Let us look closely at each of these to see why they are useful in planning and monitoring. You should indicate the location of every village and community in the catchment area. Include those that are not currently reached by vaccination services or that are new communities or hard to reach communities. You will need to confirm community boundaries with the help of community leaders. It can be helpful to know where religious centers, markets, schools, and motor parks are because sometimes roads and streets are not clearly marked or are not named. In addition to landmarks, you should also mark any rivers, flood areas, or natural seasonal barriers. Try to show the location of communities of migrant workers, urban poor, ethnic minorities, and groups in movement or unrest. You should include every community and settlement on the map, even if you do not know exactly how big they are. Now, you have a picture of your catchment area, but you are still missing some of the information you need to plan vaccination services. For example, how many infants live in each of these villages or settlements? How long does it take to reach each settlement? So, this next step is going to help you turn your map into a powerful planning tool. Create a table, like this one. List all the communities and populations within your catchment area. To complete the rest of the table, here is the information you will need to gather. First, the total population of each community. Remember to update population data at least once a year. The target population of each community. The target population is the number of infants under one year of age and pregnant women whom you are trying to reach with immunizations. You will need this information to know when you have reached your coverage targets and to determine the amount of vaccines and supplies needed. How long does it take to reach this community? And what mode of transportation will you use to get there? Travel time determines whether you will reach a community through fixed sessions or outreach sessions. For example, if it takes more than an hour for a caregiver to walk to your health facility, but you could reach that caregiver's community in 10 minutes by motorcycle, then you should plan an outreach session for the people in that community. What are the names of your community health workers or contact people? List them here, along with their mobile phone numbers. With a clear picture of your catchment area, you should be better able to plan and monitor vaccination services.